Hey, kid. A little young for a bartender, aren't you? A little old for prom, aren't you? Everything in here. Why the map? It's the biggest treasure that's never been found. Five billion, easy. But it's just a story. I beg to differ. Hi, Tom. My name is Mary. I'm from CNN Brazil. Great to see you again. Hello, Mary. Nice to see you. How are you? I'm fine. So this time, in a different movie, in fact, we just had the release of Spider-Man and you already have a new movie. To start our conversation, when did you get to know the game and the story of Nathan Drake? I first discovered Nathan Drake and, you know, the franchise of Uncharted when I was shooting Spider-Man Homecoming. You know, in the breaks in between setups, I would be in my trailer and I would be playing Uncharted with my best mate, Harrison. And, <clears throat> you know, at the time as kids, we really thought, wow, this would make an amazing movie. This would be a really, really awesome film. The games are so cinematic. The story is so compelling. Um, the sense of adventure is very enticing. So for me, it kind of screamed, you know, big blockbuster movie. I think at the time, Ryan Reynolds was attached to play Nathan Drake. So, you know, there is no form of higher flattery than taking over from the most handsome person that Canada has ever produced. Uh, so it was uh, a lot of fun. Yeah, and I saw a really funny video on your Instagram with your brother telling you uh, the scenes you had to shoot that day. So a very heavy day, we can say. So how was the Tom Holland's day in the set of Uncharted? We actually have a video that we have made called A Day in the Life, and it sort of uh, explores what it's like, um, you know, to wake up in the morning, go to set, you know, get ready. Uh, you get to meet the team, you get to meet some of the crew, uh, and it's a lot of fun. It's a little stupid, but it's fun. And, you know, I, that will be the perfect answer to your question when we release that video. Let's talk about the plane scene. Uh, okay. we, get to, we get to see you flying from one side to the other, but how was it behind the scenes? I mean, it was, uh, it was tough. It was really, really tough. You know, we were hanging off of these boxes for weeks. And, you know, I was being thrown around and ragdolled and stuntmen were climbing on me and I was having to kick them off me. And, you know, we're running across the boxes, jumping off the boxes, falling off the boxes, hanging on to the boxes. I mean, it was an endless, endless kind of struggle. But, you know, in the film, it looks fantastic. And, you know, it was incredibly rewarding to see everyone's hard work pay off. Uh, and I think it's, you know, one of the most impressive action sequences I've seen in a long time. And these scenes need physical preparation and you already are a fit guy. So did you have to exercise more than you used to? Yeah, it, it was a, a different type of training for me. You know, I wanted to put on as much weight as possible, uh, which meant, you know, getting in the gym and training every day and eating as much as I could. You know, I was having protein shake after protein shake. Uh, so, you know, it was a different kind of training, but I, I did really, really enjoy it. And a lot of people have been linking Uncharted with Indiana Jones. Do you think it's a movie that came, let's say, to take this place for the new generation? I uh, wouldn't consider it taking anyone's place, uh, but, you know, it definitely is paying respects to those movies. We reference Indiana Jones in the film, uh, and that is our way of sort of tipping the hat to Harrison Ford and obviously the incredible Steven Spielberg. Uh, but, you know, we... We love those movies, all of us as creatives, and we wanted to, you know, create a film that is in line with that kind of world. Uh, and, you know, it was my favorite film growing up as a kid. So I really, really enjoyed uh, kind of recreating it in our own way. Are you going to keep playing Uncharted or now that you've actually lived through the story, has the video game lost its fun? <laughs> I actually really love the video game. I think the video game is a really good way of sort of switching off and, and immersing yourself in a new world, you know, I've, I've probably played Uncharted four, three or four times. And every time I discover something new, which is what the games are all about. So I, uh, I probably will continue playing them.